Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Well, nothing happened. Cheek Lay? Hey, welcome to Cheek Lay Chat. It's your boy Cheek Lay, and we are back at it again with another Broadway review video. And in this video, we're going to be covering on the show that I saw over the weekend. Beetlejuice. Before we talk about this Tony nominated show, make sure you guys subscribe to Cheek Lake Productions and then make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be notified when another video comes out and leave down in the comments below what you thought about Beetlejuice the musical if you got to see it at the Winter Garden Theater. Give this video a like and if you give this video a dislike, I hope a sandworm eats you alive. Alright, let's get started. Pretty straightforward. This is based off of the movie 1988 by Tim Burton. Um, you already know that Adam and Barbara dies in an accident. They end up staying in this house. Well, actually, their spirits do. And this family moves in and tries to change everything with the house. And they try to scare them off, but they need to find somebody to be able to see them. And since they had a hard time trying to find somebody to see them, they can't scare them off. So Lydia ends up seeing the ghost because she is strange and unusual. So they end up teaming up together and the ghosts and Lydia try to team up to try to scare everybody out of the house. And then Beetlejuice comes in later. We all know how the movie goes. This musical does a little bit of a different plot and it's mostly from Lydia's side of the story. I love it how Beetlejuice is more involved in the musical than the movie. Like he fourth walls everything. Like Deadpool fourth wall. That's how hilarious this guy was. Alex Brightman, I'll talk about him later, but to talk about what the plot of this musical specifically was about, instead of Lydia and her family and Otho moving in, it's actually Lydia and the father and Deliah, instead of being the mother, it's actually a life coach because Lydia's mother passes away, so that kind of gives it more of a character development and more of a reason to not wanting these to be around. Otho comes later in act two, I don't want to spoil that, how and when and all that stuff, but Otho is not seen much. All you need to know is that Lydia's story has changed a little bit, Beetlejuice is in there more, and it's way funnier than the movie. So, what are my thoughts about this? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. Alex Brightman, so far you got my favorite performer right now on Broadway. He played Beetlejuice, hands down the funniest character ever. The opening number, Welcome to the Show About Death, was, I, I can't stop laughing. Like, I laughed way harder than I did when I was watching Act 1 of Avenue Q. It was that hilarious. And I believe it's Sophia Ann Caruso. I, I think I said her name right. She played Lydia, and she was a favorite um, for the audience that night. She sang these songs, I can't think of the names of the titles at the moment, because I'm not good with that, but she was definitely stealing the show whenever Beetlejuice is not around. She just, you just love her even more. I mean, the people who played Adam and Barbara, um, they don't showcase as much as they normally do in the film, but I thought they were very hysterical. I can't think of the names of them right now at this point, but they were both hilarious. Also, can I ever mention that this is the first Broadway musical I've ever seen with the entire original cast. The choreography was spectacular. Beautiful sound was probably my favorite scene. Um, and the end of act one, I was so nostalgic about the whole day and the shake, 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 senora scenes. Yes, they have those songs in the musical. They have props and a nice scene and lots of puppets. The Sandworm puppet is probably the highlight of the film in terms of tech. Just There's just so much I can't explain. It was just entertaining. It was hilarious. There's a few reasons why this musical was nominated for eight Tony nominations. I mean, I would recommend seeing this show. 12 out of 10 is the grade that I'm gonna give for Beetlejuice. Would I recommend this for you guys? Unfortunately, I would personally not recommend it for everybody who was under 13 because of language. And if you guys are sensitive with lighting, they do have strobe lights. So if that's something that you don't want to deal with, you know, if, like if you're sensitive, I would not recommend this show just because I don't want you guys to have a seizure when you see this show because there will be strobe lights in this production. Other than that, definitely check it out. It's still at the Winter Garden Theater. And of course, it is nominated for eight Tony Awards especially Best Musical. And I'm not gonna see another musical for a while because pff, I'm 
broke at the moment. But anyway guys, that's pretty much all for today. Um, and just stay tuned for some more videos coming out. Peace out.